Internet, hello, RotoWorld's Josh Norris and Patrick Doherty here with a look at RotoWorld's summer rankings, focusing right now, Pat, on the quarterback position, a position that is absolutely loaded As with usual. plenty of talent and puts up a ton of points. If you can, let's look at the top 10 quarterbacks according to RotoWorld. As we know, Pat, at the top, Patrick Mahomes, a breakout 2018 season. Pat, he's going, though, in round two or three. Will you have any exposure to him based on that ADP? I wish I could. You know, I love Mr. 50 touchdown, the king of swag, uh, Andy Reid. But uh, quarterback is as deep as ever this year. Argue, arguably 25 deep. It's not actually 25 deep. But yep. Jimmy Garoppolo is like the QB 22. Sam Darnold is like the QB 25, 26. Uh, we know there's going to be some regression off of those amazing numbers from last year. And, again, I would, as much as I would love Patrick Mahomes my team, you still, even this year, just cannot justify and it. You hit the nail on the head, right? It, we want Patrick Mahomes on our fantasy rosters because he's the odds-on favorite to end the season as the quarterback one. But that price tag gets such a difference. And the reason why we won leagues last year with Patrick Mahomes on our roster was because he was the quarterback yeah. 10, the quarterback 12, so, the quarterback 14. Yeah. And, like, this, you know, the only scenario, maybe if you're in a league full of people who all think they're smarter than they actually are, right. and they let him fall, like, the fifth or sixth round, then, yeah, you can take the Mahomes plunge. But, yeah, if you're playing, you know, with your family, your friends, just get the edge. Do not take him in the second and, round. And the one big difference and why we probably won't have Mahomes in our rosters, even though we love him, obviously, is because to use a second or third round pick on that player, you then – bypass a running back that you know the major difference between a running back in the second round and a running back in the 10th round is 200 points yeah. possibly and for Mahomes compared to Big Ben last year it was 70 points then 70 points compared to Matt Ryan Aaron Rodgers Deshaun Watson all three all five I should say scored over 300 points yeah waiting on QB is still the optimal strategy and will probably remain so uh, forever so. let's then look at other quarterbacks Pat that we might be more inclined to draft around the 10 to 11 to 12 mark, Pat, there's some really exciting passers out there. Kyler Murray, Carson Wentz, Jameis Winston, each has their vocal av advocates in the fantasy community. Pat, is there one that you are more interested in than the rest? Uh, you may or may not know this. I am all in on Kyler Murray. Uh, I pushed for him to be the cover star of the draft guide. Uh, one of the most dynamic, yeah, he is the most dynamic dual threat prospect <laughs> since Michael Vick. And we all know dual threat quarterbacks are kind of like a life hack in right. fantasy football. And because of, you know, rushing points are worth more than passing points. But Kyler Murray is the rare dual threat who right off the bat should have like insane passing volume. And when you put like his rushing floor combined with his passing upside, He's honestly, I don't know if I've been this excited to draft a player in forever. And he doesn't even, he, it's the kind of thing he can even struggle in real life. For sure. But it's hard to see, he's almost foolproof in fantasy. And we saw two rookie quarterbacks struggle last year's passers in Lamar Jackson and Josh Allen, but what saved them? Like, what made them more than fantasy relevant but viable starters? It's that rushing floor that they offer. And Kyler Murray last year at Oklahoma averaged over 71 rushing yards Per game. I'm not going to say he can do that every single week, but it shows he has that ability. Pat, let me ask you this question, though, because we can be excited for Kyler Murray and Cliff Kingsbury, but do we know anything about what this Arizona offense is going to look like? We do not. Right. But, uh, well, except for and that it's going, to throw, question to have. it's going to throw first, think later. Uh, the <laughs> offensive line is still a concern. The receiver depth chart, we kind of know how to shake out. Not even quite positive how David Johnson will be used. So there are questions but, like, he's, this is a guy, he rushed for 1,000 yards last right. year. He was a 70% passer. That's the Big 12. Uh, slightly different environment uh, than the NFL, uh, to put it mildly. But uh, to me, I just he's foolproof in fantasy, even if he struggles in real life. I do want to hit on the other two quickly, though, and Carson Wentz and Jameis Winston, because, Pat, they are being drafted very, very late. Carson Wentz at pick, like, 113 is his current ADP. Jameis Winston, 123. Specifically with Jameis, I mean, there are so many people in the fantasy community excited about this Bucks offense, mainly because of Bruce Arians coming in. And I believe during his 38 games with Carson Palmer, Bruce Arians, I should say, he averaged around 21 points per game at the quarterback position. That's around Jameis Winston's average for his career as a starter so far. Are you buying here with Jameis? Yeah, I mean, that was with a decrepit uh, Carson Palmer, too. For I'm sure. buying Jameis. I am more buying Carson Wentz, to be honest. To me, I mean... We see people debating his MVP, MVP candidacy, yeah. uh, clear bounce back. Uh, the, the Eagles have really revamped and improved their receiver core. Uh, one of Carson Wentz's biggest problems last year was he sh struggled as a deep passer. Uh, QB rating on deep balls actually fell from 100 
to 70. Deshaun Jackson really upgrades yes, that. Yes, he comes in. Yeah. I mean, Deshaun Jackson is one of the best vertical receivers we have seen in the last decade yeah. in the NFL. Of all and, time, and Carson Wentz has never had a player like Deshaun Jackson on the roster. Plus, they're the team that's probably the deepest roster in the NFL. Like, they're too deep at every single position. They are. But I will say, like, at large with this group, uh, I can find really honestly only positive things to say about Murray, Wentz, or Winston. They're yeah. all hyped all summer uh, for a reason, though. And uh, basically, I'm happy with any of them in my fans. Again, leagues. there's a reason why you can wait on not taking Patrick Mahomes in round two or round three because the, one of these three might become that Patrick Mahomes. Let's quickly close out because you mentioned at the top, Pat, there might be 25 quarterbacks that are fantasy relevant this year at some point this season. Um, in that tier of the 16 to 17 to 18 to 19, Lamar Jackson, Phillip Rivers, Josh Allen, Tom Brady, you have two veterans and you have two young quarterbacks that have that floor again with that rushing upside. Are you interested in any of those? No, I mean, I'm always interested in Phillip Rivers as one of my favorite kind of guys to pair with another quarterback. Uh, but none of these guys, I would say, I guess maybe I'm going to accidentally make a case for Patrick Mahomes. I'm not super interested in any of these guys as I'm like locked in right. every week starter. Maybe the most interested in Dak Prescott. Hmm. Should have the best supporting cast of his career. Uh, Kellen Moore is talking like he, you know, he's going to modernize uh, the Cowboys offense, yeah. which uh, was in dire need of. Uh, he's been said all the right things as offensive coordinator so far this offseason. So if I had to pick there the guy maybe most likely likely to be an every week starter I'd probably go with Dak but uh this is kind of the mix and match it is uh, it is but I will say Pat I think my ideal situation so far my ideal strategy is to get someone again Murray Wentz and Winston and if I want to go back at the quarterback position adding a Lamar Jackson adding a Josh Allen that again rushing certainly helps it's cheat code at the position but if they really expand their skills and as a thrower you could have something special there as yeah, well. and quarterbacks are honestly a position where I don't mind drafting two players. A lot yeah. of people do, but instead of taking like another, you know, like third string running back, I take a second quarterback, see how it plays out the first three or four weeks of the season, and uh, yeah, you might hit, you might strike gold. So. Pat, thanks so much, and all of you out there, thanks so much for watching as well. And for more rankings, projections, strategy, and advice on how to dominate your drafts, check out the all new Roto World NFL Draft Guide. Now mobile optimized with a new look and feel. It's never been easier to take our award winning advice with you to drafts for that extra competitive edge. Just go to rotorworld.com slash NFL Draft Guide for more. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.